G'day, my name's Russ Weekly from Max Design. We're going to be looking at real world quantity queries in action. I was recently working on a website where we required a small series of logos to be displayed across the top of the page. As the site was responsive, we needed a number of images to change based on the viewport size. At small and medium screen sizes, we wanted to drop some of the logos and display a more icon instead. Now this seemed like a great place to try the quantity query solution, a technique explained by Hayden Pickering on a recent Alista Part article. This technique allows us to use general sibling selectors to hide some of the additional logos at each screen size, but more importantly, without having to style each logo. So here's our demo page, and at present all the logos are sitting beside each other, but they're unstyled. Here's our HTML file, and you can see we have a div with a class of justified. And inside are all 14 logos, and the more icon. In our CSS file, I've already defined some base styles. But we're going to start by styling these images. Float left with 9% and then margin on the left and right of 3.83%. Everything's in percentages because we want them to be liquid to flow with the width of the layout. At the moment they're looking huge, but that'll change when we do the different widths. So now we can copy and paste this and we can add it inside our different media queries. We don't need it in the first one, but we'll add it into our second media query. And then we can copy that again and use it in our wide one. And now if we go and have a look in a browser, the logo should be a bit better size. So here we have our wide screen, and as you can see the more button is wrapped below. We'll fix that soon. When we drop to our medium screen, we've got 10, and then we've got a whole series of them below. And then we go to narrow screen, we've got 6 and a whole series of them will drop below. Now in each case, we only want 6 here, we only want 10 here, and 14 here. So let's move on to the next part. What we want to do now is to hide the 6th and onwards of our logos. And we can do that using the following. So this is saying, Inside our div with a class of justified, look for any child that is an image, and the nth of type, as long as it's 6, set it to display none. So let's go and have a look in a browser. Now we need to move it into narrow screen, and if we reload, you'll see we jump from 5 to 7, which means we've managed to turn off or hide the 6th logo. But what we really want to do is to set them all after that as well. And this is where our general sibling selector comes in. Because what we can do is we can copy this whole selector, put a comma there and repeat it. And this time we put tilde. Now what that's saying is any image that comes after this image also set it to display none. Let's go and have a look. So there we have it, from 6 and upwards, they're disappearing. But now what we want to do is to turn back on the end one, which is the More logo. So what we're doing here is we're looking for an image that's inside the class of Justified, but only the last of type, the last image. We're setting it to display block, and we're adding importance, so it definitely overrides the rule above. So let's go and have a look. And if we reload, you can see our little logos now appeared. Now we can copy these rules. And all we need to do is change this and this one to 10. And let's go and have a look. If we reload and move out, Suddenly now we have 9 and this one coming back in. Again, if we turned off this rule just to have a look, it would just show the 9. But we're bringing this one back. We do that again. 
paste it down into wide. Now in this case, we don't want to turn the last one back on. In fact, we want to hide it. So we could really just do it as number 15, or we could just set the last of type to display none. So another way we could do it is just And if we reload, we have 5 plus 1, 9 plus 1, and then 14, even though we have 15 icons there. So there we have it, a very quick and rough demonstration of quantity queries in action.